service now reported second quarter results to beat on the top and bottom line. We're getting used to that, but sometimes you get a level of excitement that just shows you do not be complacent about a company that delivers a great quarter. Let's bring in Chairman and CEO Bill McDermott. He joins us now first this evening. Bill, it is always great to see you. Great to see you too, Jim. Thank you. Okay, so Bill, we've all, what I say, almost suffered through um, we involving AI because everybody's talking about how great it's going to be. No one's talking about what it does for the customers or how they're going to make more money with it. And then I read your release and listened to your conference call, and I realized that there is one company that's been able to do it. It's your company. Please explain why you're able to make money for customers right now and make money for shareholders right now with AI. Absolutely. Well, this is the platform for intelligent end-to-end -end digital transformation, Jim. And we have had AI built into our platform for years now. So we were a first mover in building the AI features into the platform. And now you're looking at generated AI-infused Pro-SKU, which essentially enables companies to have a digital assistant across the entire enterprise to radically simplify the life of the employee and the customers they serve. Also, the engineers. Just think about an engineer texting to code or texting to build a workflow or texting to develop a new application. And these business cases, because they are so transformative in every industry, they have big paybacks for the customer. So obviously, from a pricing perspective, you can have a pro price for this and catch an uplift tailwind for service now. It's as simple as that. Well, you know, Bill, I, I think that, well, I appreciate what you said. You were so much, you were really fired up last night. And I got to get you a little more fired up <laughs> because one of the things that you did say basically is you're making so much money for your customers. Some of the analysts are saying, okay, when are you going to start charging more? That's not your style, <laughs> I know. But the possibility of a, of a company being 50 to 60 percent more productive says to me that Salesforce should get more than 10 percent. I mean, that, uh, that you should get more than 10 percent of it. Salesforce does that kind of thing. I want to see for service now. I want to see bigger percentages. Well, the most important thing to service now, and I think that's why we're the fastest growing SaaS company in the cloud in the world. And I also think it's why we have the highest retention rate. More than 99% of our customers stay with us. Um, now we're going to take it to a new level, Jim. So let's reinvent insurance. Let's take AI based decision making for underwriting processes. Let's go to healthcare and bring natural language knowledge support for the clinicians to better serve the patients. Let's go to manufacturing and automate supplier onboarding, the supply chain, and the shop floor. All these things have massive paybacks for the customers. So one thing we announced yesterday was the ServiceNow AI Lighthouse customer program. And as you know, we're co-developing this with NVIDIA, my great friend Jensen, and of course Accenture to fast track generative AI industry transformation. So we're building the blueprint to completely transform entire industries and the payback for that for our customers is breathtaking and service now is out in front and that's why we're growing faster than everybody else in the space hey bill it's david so how long does that trans that transformation which is significant and which a lot of people have been looking for in terms of the the benefits from generative ai how long does that take well that's the great point we're already doing it so we're announcing in our Vancouver release, we always name it after a city or a country or a state, our Vancouver release on September 20th, all these AI features that I'm talking about, digital assistance for everybody and every company across every function is in the platform. Now, when you take on these large transformative cases, we already have more than 125 of the world's largest companies lined up at the door to do this with ServiceNow, NVIDIA, and Accenture. How long will that take? We're talking a few months, and it's going to go extremely fast, David. And a lot of people say, well, is that in the guide? And I said, no, because that's the upside case. The faster we can get the customer to realize the true generative benefits of AI, the faster we can realize that in the guide and ultimately the overachievement of the ServiceNow performance. So we're going to see productivity increases that soon, Bill, from all this stuff that you're talking yeah. about? You're already seeing it, David. We have something we call ServiceNow Pro in the ServiceNow platform, and we're seeing 30, 40, 50 percent year-over-year improvements in productivity, and we're also seeing our customers buy the pro version of our platform 
at a record clip. Now with generative AI, they're going to get the benefit of Pro and Pro Plus for these generative AI use cases that are transformative. Now is the time to see it. All right, so Bill, uh, when I hear you and I look at the percentages and then I calculate the percentages, what it says to me is you could drive a 60 to 100 percent increase in contract value among some customers. This potential upside, I have to believe, is not reflected in the current guide you gave us. That's, that's correct, Jim. I mean, that's because you got to do it, right? You have to prove it, you have to do it, but it's not in the current guide. We do see a bull case for AI at service now because we already have early evidence over the last four years how fantastic the platform's performing and the AI functions that are already built into it. This is net new innovation. The flywheel of innovation at ServiceNow is really smoking hot. And now all of our partners are joining the party. They all want in. So it's a super exciting time. And yes, Jim, you now see ServiceNow. Think about this. In 19 of our top 20 deals this quarter, we had five or more products built into the bill of materials for our customer. In, all, in 10 of those deals, we had 10 or more products on this one platform. So what you're seeing us do now is turn into a masterpiece, a masterpiece in enterprise software where across all functions of a company, we are now driving business outcomes, cost takeout, productivity improvement, and growth on. And that's why I'd like to thank all the C-level executives that are watching your show for believing in service now, and we're coming to work for you. One word, flawless. Thank you very much. Bill McDermott, <laughs> service now. Good to see you. Thank you.